Let's talk data products. Whenever I get into any conversation on data products, I think it's really important to start with just a basic definition. Now, if I ask 10 people, whether they're CDOs or architects or CTOs or CIOs, they're probably going to give me a different answer. And their answer is probably very much influenced by what they've read or what they've heard, or maybe even what they're dealing with in their current architecture. And that's fine. I don't think there's a wrong answer. Like, it makes a lot of sense. But before I start any conversation, I like to kind of start with a baseline. I want people to understand a simple analogy. I want us to all be thinking about it with the same mindset, simple framework. And first and foremost, for me, the most important part of that framework is the consumer. We built data products for consumers. That word product, product management, it's about building something of value for a consumer. And so I always like to talk about a pharmacy analogy. I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh, if we have a headache, and maybe you have a headache because you can't find data, maybe you have a headache because you're waiting for a pipeline. A lot of reasons to have a headache if you're on the data side. You walk into a pharmacy, and for the most part, we no matter what pharmacy it is, it's pretty easy to find the aisle where the headache medication is. Maybe you're reading signs, maybe you know where it is, pretty quick. But once you get there, you have a lot of different options available to you. And so you can look across those shelves and you can see all the different options that are there for headache medication. And you can pick any one of those products off the shelf and you can look at it. Front of the box tells you who makes it. Side of the box tells you how to take it. Other side of the box tells you what it solves. What is it just headaches or are there other symptoms that it's trying to resolve? And so now I know what it is. I know what's inside of it. I know who makes it. I know how to take it. And the information on the box was written in a way that I understand it. It was written for me, the consumer. It wasn't a pharmacist or a chemist somewhere that wrote that out. It was somebody who took the time to write that in a way that would make it very easy for me. I already have a headache. Make it very easy for me to understand what's inside the box. I think if we look forward five years, 10 years maybe, I think it's more like five years. And we look back and we say, what changed? And we'll look back and say, remember five years ago? Remember 10 years ago when we used to have to go think about data sources before we needed to use data? I think data should be as easy as getting a product off the shelf at a pharmacy. I think that's what we're moving toward. That's the vision. That's our point C, is getting to a point where if I need a data set, so it's already been put together for me, it's ready for me to take, I can simply go somewhere I can follow the signs, I can look at the shelves, I can look at what's available and I can pick what I want. We want data to be that easy for anybody in the organization to get to. It doesn't mean that it's not secure, right? You don't walk into a pharmacy and start taking the medication in the pharmacy, you gotta pay for it, right? And so think about the authorization as well. I found the box that I want, but I can't open it yet. I have to pay for it. Whether you're paying for a data product, you're getting it for free, think about the concept of just being authorized. Once you pay for it, once you have permissions, you're able to actually open the box up and use it. And so in your company, I like to make data products available to everybody. Let everybody have the ability to see most of your data products. Pick them up off the shelf, off the library. Take a look at them, read about them, learn what's inside of them. They can't see the data. If they want to see the data, they should get permission. Maybe you have attribute-based access controls that automatically grants permission. Maybe you've got role-based access controls, or maybe the person gets a data product and they click on it and they can't see anything. They need to get authorized. And so we can still build a lot of security into a data product. Not everybody can open the box. You can even look at every individual box and say, when that person opens up the data product, they're only allowed to see these data sets. When this person opens up the data product, they can see all the data sets. When that person over there opens up the data product, all the data is anonymized. Maybe they're just looking for trends. There's a lot of things that we can do from a security perspective for data products, but it all starts with making it very easy, making it very fast for the consumer to find what they're looking for. Welcome to this pharmacy of data products.